What exactly inspires you to think positively? What is it that you can say induces you so that you can be able to have a positive mind shift? My name is Linda Moniki and you are watching Sitam Church online right here at Youth Cafe. So guys, I remember sharing in uh, the previous video that I did about positive mind shift. I remember sharing with you guys that um, positive mind shift actually means you having to replace a negative thought with a positive thought. But not just replacing, intentionally replacing a negative thought with a positive thought. But what exactly drives you to think positively? What exactly drives you to have a positive mind shift? You could be watching this video and you're saying for me, I grew up in an environment where I saw my parents, I saw my, my guidance uh, muddle through life, you know, trying to make ends meet and to be able to uh, provide finances, you know, school fees and health and everything else in life. I saw them struggle through it and I want to live the kind of life where I want to see myself being able to provide this for my future family, to provide this for myself. And you're probably watching this video and you're saying, for me, what encourages me is being able to help children, you know, help the homeless, help the orphans, uh, being able to cater for them, care for them. You could also be watching this video and you're saying, for me, I grew up in an environment where, well, relatively wealthy, um, and I want to continue with the legacy in my family. I want to continue with this uh, legacy of, of, of financial prosperity in my family. Uh, but the thing is, guys, these things are amazing, you know, because they give us direction in life they give us a purpose they give us a sense of well-being but there is even a greater motivator for us to be able to think positively and that my friends is the word of god david says in psalms 119 verse 105 that your word O god is a lamp unto my feet and it is a light unto my path and what david is trying to tell us he's trying to teach us and he's trying to say is that the word of god offers direction to him it offers a sense of purpose it offers a sense of well-being to david and the thing is guys god has actually given us a blueprint for us to be able to think positively and that in itself is his word and he has freely given it to us and god is telling us guys here is my word my word is positive i want you to use my word to be able to renew your mind in accordance to romans verse 12 uh, paul is telling the romans renew your mind and the way we renew our minds guys is through the word of god i love the practical example um, of ezekiel you know when he was in this valley and uh, he's in a conversation with god uh, the valley is a valley of dry bones and he's in a conversation with god and god tells him what to say in order to bring the dry bones to life and the bible says how there was a rattling of the bones and the bones came together and and all of a sudden there was an army of people and these people stood but the thing about these guys is that they did not have life in them and the bible continues to say how god breathed his own life into these people and they came alive Guys, this is the word of God because God has literally breathed out his life, breathed out his word to us so that we can be able to take it in so that we can be able to use it in our future circumstances, in our future life, in our, in our purpose and in what we endeavor to do for God. So I challenge you today, are you having a negative thought that is creeping in, you know, and you feel like, how can I be able to do away with this thought? Guys, I challenge you today, use the word of God. For example, you could be going for an interview, you know, and you're probably late, but you know you actually woke up early and you just find traffic all of a sudden. I encourage you, instead of thinking, how will the interviewee see me? You know, how are they going to view me? Are they really going to uh, see me as somebody who comes late? Are they going to offer me the job? When you're seated in that car, or wherever it is, whatever means you're using to go to the venue of that interview, encourage yourself with the word of God and speak the word of God into your mind and say, God makes all things work together for good. And just as I remember sharing previously that the word of God gives life, it will give life into this circumstance. You'll find things changing 
all of a sudden. Why? Because the word of God has power. The Bible says that it's sharper than any other double-edged sword. It has power, it has might, it can be able to shift things, it can be able to cause things to turn around. If you're struggling with self-esteem and you're wondering who exactly am I, what, what has God called me to do, I encourage you today to know that God has written your name in the palm of his hands. God says that he delights in you. You know, you are the apple of, of his eyes. So use the word of God to be able to think positively because the word of God in itself is already positive, guys. I'd like to pray for you. I'd like to encourage you. I'd like to tell you that the word of God is life. And because it's life and because it is positive, you can use it to be able to think positively. Father, I thank you for those who are watching this video and they feel discouraged, they feel like um, I have a negative thought that keeps creeping into my mind and I don't know how to handle it. I pray in the name of Jesus that you, O oh God, who has freely given us your word, I ask that, Father, you may help them to be able to internalize it, to meditate on it, O oh God, so that they can be able to know what you have called them to do, how you have called them to think positively. I thank you, King of all glory, and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Remember, guys, that God has not just given us his word for us to read it or for us to study it. He has also given us his word for us to apply it into our lives, into our circumstances, into our situations so that we can be able to find life in it. My name is Linda Moniki. I would like to hear more from you. I would like to hear your engagement, your testimonies concerning you having to use the word of God to think positively and to replace it with a negative thought. You can be able to reach us through our contact details that are right below the screen. You can reach us through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even YouTube. Right here at Sitam Church Online, you are watching Youth Cafe. Thank you.